Naraka Blade Point has arrived, and there are a few things I noticed when I hopped on for the launch. Let me know in the comments what you like most about Naraka Blade Point so far, or any things you noticed about the launch that may differ from the betas. Now let's get to it. Number 5. Bots. Bots everywhere. It's important to know that early on in the game you will fight a lot of bots. I believe this is designed to help people ease their way into the game, especially since Naraka Blade Point has such a huge skill ceiling. I played three games that are shown in the footage here, and all three of those games felt like I was playing a lot of bots. I played two survival mode games, which were definitely full of bots, and one bloodbath game that was a little harder to tell, but judging by how well I did, I'm under the impression that it also had a lot of bots. I don't want to crush your dreams of being the number one Naraka god NA, but just a heads up that you're gonna get humbled real quick once you start playing real players. Number 4. Cosmetics for Days I spent my first hour and a half on the game just going through all the cosmetics that they have. They have some really nice ones, some really weird ones, and a lot more recolors than I would like. Be careful with your money because it can be quite a lot and a bit overwhelming. If you're looking to throw some more money the devs way outside of the $20 price tag, I highly recommend the Battle Pass. I was pleasantly surprised by all of the stuff you get in there, and if you're planning to put a lot of time into the game, it rewards you infinitely for your time, so it seems pretty worth it. Also, just to note, I purchased the Ultimate Edition, and it didn't come with the pack they released for streamers, which comes with gear with the logos of Shroud, Summa 1G, and Lyric on it, so I can confirm the Ultimate Edition doesn't come with everything. Number 3. Yodohime is insane. I spent my time playing Yodohime for every game I played, and she feels great. Her F skill throws out a blade that deals damage as it remains on the field, and reactivating the F teleports her to the swirl and allows her to do an uppercut attack that is very strong. Her ultimate gives her a giant blade that you can attack with three times and does a ton of damage. She looks as great as she feels, and I had a lot of fun playing with her during my time on the game so far. After maining Kurumi during the beta, it was a completely different experience, and I loved every minute of it. Number 2. The Spear is still OP. It might just be because I mostly fought against bots, but the Spear still feels insanely overpowered. In the beta, it was super strong and very hard to contend with, and it still feels about the same as it felt in the beta to me. It limited me from wanting to try other weapons while I was winning games, but I probably will stay away from it in the future. Katanas are my favorite weapon in video games, and with the way this combat plays, I'd love to master Katana and stray away from the spear. I feel like I'll learn a lot more of the game if I do that. I basically ran spear in every game I played and dominated, rarely switching to ranged weapons unless I was trying to complete a daily or a specific quest. And number one. Combat and movement is S tier. The combat and movement in this game is a breath of fresh air in video games. You won't see too much high level skill showcased in my footage here, but if you watch some highlights from some actual pro players, you'll see what I mean. There is nothing like it that I know of. You can pull off some insane plays, and most importantly, it's just downright fun. The grappling hook mechanic keeps the action jam packed, the characters that have movement abilities and skills add a whole new level of complexity, the combat counters and focus attacks that also help close gaps and spice up the combat even more are really fun to do and fun to watch. I can see this game becoming a lot of fun to watch in the esports scene if it gets there. In closing, I hope a lot of people choose to check out Naraka Blade Point. It's a really fun time. None of my friends were on when I was playing here, but I can't wait to run some trios with some buddies and have a blast. We loved it during the beta, and this launch just feels really good. It is a safe $20 investment and guaranteed to keep you busy for many, many hours. I finished with a 69, my man. Doing it for the boys.